A quick one, a new behind the scenes video, finally on the channel. It's been a long time, I know. Uh, I made a few of them last summer, actually, but never shared anything anywhere, maybe a few images here and there on Instagram. This session was made during my short stay in Paris, and I met an old time friend. So what do we have? A ballerina, a hotel room, these are all the ingredients that you need for this session. I did stay in Paris for only 24 hours. I went there, traveled there to give a conference for a Fuji film and also decided to do two improvised sessions, one on the day of my arrival and another one the next day just before my second talk. So not a lot of time and not a lot of space too. And if you're familiar with my work, you probably know that in tight spaces, small spaces, I usually propose portrait sessions or boudoir sessions. I'm not going to work with much here. I'm not home and I only had with me in my camera bag my GFX 100S and two lenses. This session you're about to see is actually the second session, the dance session. We're gonna do a few simple portraits and we are going to play with lines and shapes. That other session, that boudoir session, is already on the blog. Images, explanations, and behind the scenes videos. So if you are a premium member, you can already access that content. Two completely different approaches. For the boudoir session that happened the day before, I used the light coming from the window, and when it completely disappeared, I popped out my flash. For this one, the one that you're about to see, we used only the light coming from the window. You know the poor man's trick, if you want to diffuse your light, just use the see-through curtains. If you want to shape, give a shape to your light or block the light completely, use the blackout curtains. And we created a few silhouette shots, you know, by shooting directly into the window. If you know my work, you know that I like to keep some of these details on my subject's body. So for some shots, I use the white fabric from my light modifier to bounce a little bit of that light back on my model.
ended the session with some headshots. These sessions can be done really quickly. You can organize three to four sessions like this one in one morning and there is little to no retouching to the images you just saw. A little bit of cleaning, dodge and burn, contrast and of course my colors. After that it's you know up to you to use the space creatively even if this means shooting from strange places. I'm currently finishing the edit of two new behind the scenes videos. One will be out for my premium members on the blog tomorrow night and the other one probably on the YouTube channel next Wednesday. There is no more available light for me for this video so I am going to leave you here. I really hope that you had a fantastic summer. I will catch you in the next one but until then please have a good one.